Hello and welcome everyone. We are in Cologne at Gamescom 2019. My name is Nims and today Nintendo presents a more in-depth look at the very exciting Astral Chain. Joining us today we have a very special guest, the director of Astral Chain, Mr. Tower. Hello Mr. Tower and thank you so much for joining us today. Hello. Yep, thank you really for having me. Thank you so much. And from Nintendo of Europe, we have Filippo. Hello, Filippo. Hi, Nims. Hello, everyone. <laughs> now, Filippo, you're going to be talking us through the actual gameplay we're going to see today. Yeah, I think you're going to have to stop me from talking about this. <laughs> okay, sure. And on actual gameplay itself, we're going to be seeing Kave play from Nintendo of Europe. Hello, Kave. Thank Hi. you so much for joining us. Hello, everyone. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure at <laughs> no all. No pressure at <laughs> <I'm> all. <good. laughs> And we have our interpreter from Nintendo of Europe, Kaz. Hello, Kaz. Hi, Nims. Hi, everyone. Excellent. Now, we're just going to get straight to it. Uh, Mr. Tower, for the viewers who are watching at home, could you give us a brief introduction to what is Astral Chain and what it's all about? あの、まずあの、アストラルチェーンのあ、紹介から始めてもらってもいいですかはい。え、このゲームはですね、特殊部隊ネウロンに新しく入隊した双子が主人公となってプレイヤーは双子のどちらかを選択してゲームをスタート
so you really have to pay attention and uh, dismiss your legion before the counter reaches zero, otherwise it takes quite a while and you definitely do not want to be alone in that <laughs> fight. Uh, something that uh, we can also see is that uh, at uh, regular times when Kave either dodges at the last moment or performs a combo, you see that blue circular, circular flash of light. That's the indicator uh, that tells you that you can perform a sync combo. Uh, a sync combo is basically when uh, you can touch on uh, your uh, legion button and you can uh, basically make the legion do a super flashy combo. And uh, uh, this uh, sync attack is really one of the core of the uh, gameplay mechanics for combat. You see those super flashy combos that you do in tandem with your legion, so you're both attacking at the same time uh, in you know, a spectacular fashion. Uh, you can trigger that in many different ways. You can, for example, uh, trigger that when you wrap uh, your enemies uh, uh, with the chain, with the astral chain, when you do a perfect dodge. And this all depends on which weapon you are using at that moment or uh, which legion. So the combination of legion and weapon will usually generate very different uh, types of uh, sync combos. And of course, the uh, sword legion can also cut, as uh, we just saw right now. And uh, yeah, these combos are always like super flashy. If you charge or if you do different moves, you can do different combos. So now this part is over, and uh, uh, Kaveh actually is showing us the other legion, the arrow that we have here, the arm, which is the heavy hitter of the group, and the beast. Wow. Uh, which is the fast-paced, uh, fast-movement uh, legion that you can also ride. <laughs> it's very cool. And that's very good as well there to uh, run away from enemy attacks. <laughs> and there we go, we are against Kyle now. Right, so uh, Mr. Tara, uh, Kyle looks like a very interesting character. Could you tell us a little bit more about him and his, uh, his design? はい、あの、このカイルっていうキャラクターはあとハッカーっていう設定で、え、その設定わかりやすくするためにプログラムの映像を体にまとったデザインにしてもらってます。あの、so uh, Kyle is actually a hacker. Uh, so I wanted that to really come through in uh, in his character design. Uh, so I wanted actually like holograms to be uh, scattered across his body. え、さらにこのホログラムの映像がですね、カイルの感情とリンクするようにプログラムされているので and uh, one cool thing about this is that we programmed the holograms to be linked to Kyle's emotions. Um, so you'll, like, during the game you'll see a, lot of, uh, see a range of like, facial expressions uh, that Kyle will, uh, will make, which I think is actually quite a charming point of uh, Kyle. Um, also in the dev uh, development team, um, he's a very popular character. <laughs> I can imagine so. I really like the design of the character, and by the way, Kawe is doing an awesome job at showing us <laughs> super cool combos. I was noticing that there was some sort of special attacks you can do with both your player and the Legion combined. Yeah, those are like some of the best uh, secret <laughs> attacks you can do. So uh, I just wanted to ask uh, uh, Mr. Taura, uh, do we know what's behind the mask? <laughs> まあ、それはもうここでは口が裂けても言えません。いや、それ、あ、リリーカムゼオだヘッド。オッケー。ユーチライ、ユーチライ。いや、チライ。バラティンキーのオルソでエアオフミステリーだったディスクリーピージャイ
kind of uh, imagined him to, to be this kind of character. I see. Yeah, you're That's so, great. <laughs> They're very nice. good, yes. Kabe. Yes. <laughs> so uh, this full boss fight is over. I, I like that, you know, like we knew it we were going to start with a difficult <laughs> one, but that's why we have Kabe here to play for us. I would never touch the controller in this one <laughs> because I would be not as good, although, you know, I love to, be, uh, to play this game. <laughs> So uh, we are now uh, going to uh, skip a little bit ahead mm -hmm. uh, because we don't want to spoil uh, the story too much. Right. Uh, so we are going to uh, show you what happens a little bit later after Kyle has given you uh, its trust. But first, in a typical Platinum Games fashion, each individual segment is uh, always scored and rated. Uh -huh. So I'm curious to see what the game thinks of Kabe's <laughs> That's Kabe's why Kabe's quiet right now. He wants yeah. to see. <laughs> and we got S+. Plus. Oh, oh, nice play. Very, very good. good. Very good. Very good. If you definitely deserve it. <laughs> I'm going to have to train a lot to reach, <laughs> no. to reach his uh, levels. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to uh, skip ahead, as I was saying. And uh, uh, let's just say that at this point, uh, we have gained Kyle's trust. And uh, Kyle uh, set us on the track of uh, Douglas, which is another character that uh, we have to find track and find out. And to do right. that, we can use the Beast Legion. The Beast Legion can track sense. We have been given a suitcase that Douglas was using. And... Uh, just oh, like, wow. like a very good dog, <laughs> it will uh, you know, tell you where the scent is. That's, that's really interesting. Mr. Tower, the, well, as Filippo was saying about the ranking system, which is infamous for Platinum Games, um, Platinum Games also is very well known for its fast-paced action and stylish combat gameplay. With Astral Chain, there seems to be a lot of different types of gameplay all combined into one game. Was this something that you intentionally wanted to do from the start of the project or did you naturally progress into that yourself once, as you further developed into the game? あの、アストラチェニアいろんなあの遊びが含まれていると思うんですけど、それってあの開発当初から予定していたことなんですかいや、あの開発当初はデュアルアクションっていうところと鎖を使ったアクションっていうところにまずは注力してました。So early on in um, development, uh, we were really only focusing on uh, the synergetic action and uh, the action that's performed using the astral chain that connects them. ただそれだけだとちょっと物足りなくなってきて、あの警察官っていうキャラクターを活かしたいろんな遊びを後からどんどん入れていきました。uh, but you know, as this concept uh, started to take shape, um, you know, we, we started to uh, think of new ideas to really expand on that. So uh, we added uh, more gameplay elements uh, that worked well with the police setting. Ah. あと、アームレギオンで重いものを持ってそれを動かしたりっていうようなアクションもできるようになってます。and uh, for example, if you uh, use the um, arrow legion uh, and, sh and uh, find things to shoot at, uh, it might reveal new paths. Or perhaps, um, <laughs> perhaps using the arm legion, um, you know, you can carry heavy objects and carry them around with you. Yes, I think we saw a little bit of that before in the previous battle, yes. あ、前のところ、あのところでちょっとそれが見えました。そうですね。で、今あの、壁さんがプレイされた時みたいにどこをどうしたらいいのかわからなくなった時にはあの、アイリスモードっていうのに入ってもらったらヒントが画面上に出
Uh, there is also a synergy between you and uh, uh, the tools you have and the options you have in the gameplay. And here we find a big chimera. This chimera is a huge shield, so Kave has to use the Gladius, this bigger version of uh, the sword. It's one of the only things that goes through that shield and allows you to keep doing your combos. If you would be using the police baton there, the shield would stop him and he would never do this uh, super cool combos that he's just doing now. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's one of my favorite things you can do now. Yes, Whoa. yes. You can wrap, uh, you can do a, a chain counter. So you can uh, use the chain to... Uh, <laughs> that was okay. very good, <laughs> <laughs> Use the chain to send them away. <laughs> and uh, you can also perform finishing Whoa. moves. Whoa! Yes. So by uh, using the finishing move, you see the Legion takes the core of the Chimera and that replenishes the stamina uh, of the Legion, which is this blue circle that you see every yeah. time the Legion is out, and uh, also replenishes your life. So what's, what's this on the screen right now, Felipe? Oh, that's a portal to the Astral Plane. Uh, the Astral Plane is this dimen dimension from which the Chimera comes from, the, their plane of existence. Right. And uh, because we have Legion, and because we have the Astral Chain, mm -hmm. we can, as you can see there, be dragged by <laughs> the Legion and by the Chain into the Astral Plane. Ah. This is like certain death for normal people, but for Neuron, maybe <laughs> there is a fighting chance. <laughs> And this is the Astral Plane. Ah, this this area definitely looks a lot different from what we just were playing in. Mr. Tara, could you tell us a little bit about the Astral Plane and the inspiration behind the design of this particular area? あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
the, 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 uh, the atmosphere seems to have dramatically changed. Mr. Tara, could you tell us a little bit about what's happening right now? So it looks like um, some elements of the astral plane are spilling over into the human world. Um, why this is happening, uh, again, I'm going to leave it for the players to find out for themselves. <laughs> More surprises for the viewers at home. It's an interesting look how is, you know, this uh, mix between astral plane and uh, uh, industrial kind of uh, location. Uh, it's, it's really cool and stylish as well. And here we see the most effective way to deal with a uh, flying chimera. Very nice. <laughs> Using a special ability of the Arrow Legion wow. and another Espras. Very good. Very good, very good, Kave. So, in uh, narrow places like this, um, like Kave did, uh, it's uh, effective to use Arrow Legion to, uh, to fire uh, from uh, long range. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. You that's know, like it. that's you know. I got it. I got it. <laughs> we really see also those platforms that we saw back in the astral plane as well, making yes. making an appearance here as uh, we get toward the end of this chase and everything ramps up into a climax. Pretty sure, ah, went, there he went, is. pretty sure he went forward, <laughs> you know, on the bridge, is. but yeah. <laughs> Here we see humans being corrupted by the red matter. That the red stuff that is on the floor is uh, what the Chimera leave when they, when they invade our world. And uh, if humans are uh, in contact with it, they can themselves be turned. Our Legion can clean that up and just like just by moving over it and by doing so uh, you can replenish the stamina. It's All one right. way to replenish the stamina of your Legion. And oh no! Okay. Oh. <laughs> so uh, the poor frantic woman. I mean, save that, her. <laughs> yeah, I would be frantic as well <laughs> if I was just, you know, uh, crushed by a giant metal door. I think I'd be more than frantic. <laughs> So the voice acting is pretty good in the game. Uh, I really like uh, the uh, English voice acting. But uh, uh, for everybody out there that uh, would prefer to play with the Japanese uh, Japanese voices, those are also available. So you can choose oh, wow. uh, which one you prefer. Mm -hmm. And oh, one last fight. Kave tried to do a perfect fall there, which is when you summon uh, a legion just as you're about to be uh, attacked. And second try. <laughs> There you go. Oh, nice. Very good. Oh, the attack. Very and, cool. and it also leads you into sync combos, of course. There you go. Wow. That's, that's nice pretty sink. cool. Yes. <laughs> nice sync indeed. And we, we also see Kaveh using special abilities like those uh, um, rotating blades or the fact that now uh, Kaveh unchained uh, <laughs> one of the legion. These are all things you can do if you uh, unlock uh, different legion skills. Each legion has its own individual skill tree and you can upgrade their attack power, their defense, but also give them new moves uh, like that, and also new possibilities to perform uh, sync combos. If you keep seeing the screen flashing, it means that Kave is very good. <laughs> so, what do you think might be the most uh, dangerous part <laughs> uh, of uh, this uh, uh, Well, I was about to say, I'm sure everybody watching at home can tell the giant flaming sword is the thing to watch out for. Great powers of observation. That's it. <laughs> I'm very proud. Of you. <laughs> Thank you. Indeed, fire especially is particularly dangerous in this game. Nicely done. Let's see. Let's see. Hey. Oh. Still very good. And uh, as we move on now to uh, the last part of this uh, particular segment, uh, of course, in Sinkave, who made us all proud uh, <laughs> with his so. skills, but uh, <laughs> we also want to show uh, somebody else's uh, gameplay skills, which again, oh, not mine, okay. because otherwise I would get sweet D, <laughs> sweet D ranks everywhere, all over. <laughs> but we wanted to ask Mr. Taura to play the boss fight uh, of uh, this level, um, the final boss fight. 
壁の戦いも良かったんですけどもしよければ田浦さんの戦いも見せていただけないですかいやもう本当に素晴らしいプレーだったんで僕もやらなくていいんじゃないかなと思いますああそういうのキャベイ did such a good job that I, I reckon I don't really need to play <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>そうじゃあでもせっかくなんで<笑>今日はちょっとプレーさせてもらいます<笑> since I'm here okay let's give it a go <笑><笑> actually we can see Mr. Taura's character、oh、my goodness. <笑> is a little bit different than、uh, Kame's character、uh, of course he's playing with the、uh, with the、um, Twin sister here in this case,、mm. and you can see、uh, you can really customize your characters in、uh, many different ways in this game. There seems to be a very interesting customization here, Mr. Tower. There's a, a cat sitting on top of your head. Could you tell us a little bit about this customization? I'm a little bit of a customization. I'm a little bit of a customization. I'm a little bit of a customization. I'm a little bit of a c u s t o m Um, so, why there's a, a cat on my head? There's only one reason for that, and it's because I think cats are cute. That's a fair point. <laughs> it's enough of a reason.、Uh, right? That's more than a good enough reason. In the game, there are many things that are in the game. There are many things that are in the game. There are many things that are in the game. There are many things that are in the game. There are many things that are in the game. There are many things that are in the game. Cats are actually scattered across the game、uh, quite widely. There are even some. Uh, little games where you collect、uh, cats.、Um, but yeah,、um, I, yeah, you'll come across a lot of cats in the game. でもあのちゃんと犬も好きなのでこうやってビーストも実装してます、ね。Uh, but you know,、I'm, I also love dogs, so、uh, that's why we have a beast legion here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go right into the, to the fight. And actually,、uh, Mr. Taura told us earlier that、uh, you can actually pet the beast legion. Oh, really? So yeah.、Wow. I can confirm you can pet the dog. So, this is a good thing. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah,、uh, you're absolutely correct. You can、uh, pet、uh, the Beast Legion, but、uh, I'm going to leave that for、uh, the players to try out for themselves. <laughs> yeah, probably with the cats out there, you know, the, the, beast, the, 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 the cat and the boss fight, the Beast Legion was a bit、yeah. nervous.、So、I just hope the cat remains safe. In this boss battle, it's just with Mr. Tower's head. I just want to wonder if like,、uh, the head is going to be scratched you know, with Clover. I'm going to go to the head of 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 the head ここからのバトルに集中するのは皆さんで男子を教えてください。Because、uh, if you send your legion and your legion is in the air and you get pulled by your legion, then you also go in the air. And of course, like any action game that、uh, is worth its name, <laughs> you can do air combos and、uh, you can do really flashy ones as well. Wow. You can really feel the weight of the, of the <laughs> arms slamming down on the floor. And big lasers, of course. That, wow. Big lasers, <laughs> always good. Very good. So, the objective here is、uh, to、uh, we want to try to wrap、uh, the chain around、uh, the two legs and the two arms of uh, this uh, giant uh, uh, chimera. And that allows us to stun the boss and then be able to、uh, do some damage. Otherwise, you always have to be paying a lot of attention about its attacks, and you have very few moments of respite here. Beast Legion good to escape laser. <laughs> And Arrow Legion good for shooting the boss at a distance. And of course, you see that sometimes this boss is,、uh, as he's walking on the walls,、uh, there are all these panels on the walls that sometimes fall. And、uh, just like、uh, Kaveh did with、uh, Kyle before,、uh, we could try to、uh, use one of those panels and、uh, throw it at the head of the boss to stun him briefly. Here also we see another use for、uh, the iris, as uh,、um, because uh, Mr. Taura activated the iris, 
that's why we can see uh, the life bar of uh, the ah, boss. Ah, right. Normally, you will not be able to see uh, the life bar of an any enemy until you uh, use the uh, until you use the iris. So again, keeping with the spirit of each thing you do as multiple purposes or each tool you have uh, can be used in different ways. He's pretty agile for being such a big guy. Yeah, he... I, I was just about to comment on the fact that I'm really liking the fact that he's using the entire area and he's not a, a static boss in any shape or form. Yeah. Actually, uh, for uh, people that are, have been following uh, our shows at uh, uh, E3, for example, they might have seen a different version of the Homunculus, ah. a completely different boss battle uh, that was there. This is uh, the Homunculus beta, so it's a different <laughs> And big sign. Perfect arm use legion. for the arm legion. Nice. <laughs> That's really <All> right. cool. <laughs> <laughs> there was always some humor, some tongue-in-cheek uh, humor uh, in Platinum Games title. And there we can go for our last phase. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like that uh, faster punching combo <laughs> with the arm legion. So I noticed as well, Filippo, the, the numbers that appear, they, they sometimes are in different colours. So is it, the, the, the when they're in yellow, is that some kind of critical hit? Yes, or? it's just higher, yeah, you're doing, you're hitting in a right. critical higher damage. Whoa! I do. Very cool. Yeah, incredibly dramatic. The music, uh, <laughs> the rain, uh, the light effects, <laughs> everything, like, really makes it, this is how you make a great action. <laughs> <laughs> We're all waiting for the score. Oh, yes, oh, very, good. very good. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> we would not have settled for anything. Anything like So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tower, first and foremost, your cat survived. <laughs> yeah, I managed somehow. Excellent job. And thank you so much for showcasing some fantastic gameplay there. For the viewers who are watching at home, do you have any uh, last remarks you'd like to give them? あの、最後に視聴者に向けてあのメッセージなどありますか。そうですね。あのいよいよアストラルチェーン発売までyeah, so um, the release of Astral Chain is uh, really right around the corner now. Um, it's a completely uh, new IP that has really unique visuals and uh, gameplay. But this also means that we were able to pack in a lot of uh, new uh, experiences that players will only be able to find in this game. Um, you know, we've also put a lot of love and effort into the storyline and the music. Uh, so I, I really hope that players out there are going to have a good time with this game. I'm sure I will. Like, <laughs> really, like I think 30th we of all August will. couldn't come any sooner <laughs> for me. Really. But once again, Mr. Tower, thank you so much for joining us today. It's really an honor to have you here and play this incredible game for us. Yeah, thank you so much as well. Uh, I had a, a lot of fun. Excellent. Thank you. And Filippo, thank you so much for being here today and talking us My through pleasure. lots of elements of this fantastic title. And Cave. Brilliant play earlier. Thank you so much for your gameplay awesome. as well. Yep. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it's better than I would do. <laughs> it was nice really, really good. Side. Nice play, nice play. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Very I'm honored. <laughs> and of course, Kaz, thank you so much for your for interpreting for us today in this presentation. You're welcome, Nims. Excellent. And for everybody who is watching at home, this was the very exciting Astral Chain, which is releasing on August the 30th, which is literally next week so we hope you guys are really looking forward to this title but from everybody here thank you so much for watching we'll all see you very soon bye bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye.